Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to be going over bookmarks with our Chrome extension. So how to create bookmarks and how to alter them and whatnot. So let's just jump right in. So I already have all the code written out that we'll need, but I'll go through it line by line and explain what's happening and how and what's going on and how we can change it to fit your specific needs. So first, let's head into manifest.json and we're going to be using the bookmark API. And in order to use this bookmark API, we need to add it to our permissions. So head over to permissions and just add a comma and then say bookmarks. That's all you need for the manifest.json file. Now head to background.js and within this listener at the top on installed. So it happens every single time that this Chrome extension is updated or installed. Then we want to create a bookmark and you can change the location of this depending on if they click a button or whatnot. But this is just where I have for the for simplicity's sake for the tutorial. So within this listener, we have creating a bookmark folder and creating a singular bookmark for a URL. So in case you are not familiar with it, bookmarks within Chrome can either be folders or specific links. And so I'll show you to create each of them and how you can modify them. So for this first one, we have chrome.bookmarks.create, and then we need to specify a title. You don't have to specify any properties, but the title is generally the one that you want to specify so you know exactly what you're creating. And the title for this will be bookmarks folder. And then this right here is a callback function, function new folder. And then with this call, callback function, we're just getting the folder that we just recently created and logging to the console, added a folder, in this folder, we're going to display the ID. All right. And then for creating an actual bookmark, we have the title and we specified also the URL. Now this is the URL to, that leads to my steam code YouTube channel. And then we have a callback function as well, added bookmark. And then we put the title of that bookmark. So let's just jump right in and look at what's happening. So if we update both of our extensions, as you can see, right as it's been updated, more bookmarks have been added. Now I have this prototype running as well. So two more bookmarks were added than what exactly we need. But for this Steam Code Chrome extension, the one that we're using right now, as you can see here, we have a bookmarks folder and a Steam Code YouTube. Now you can also specify an ID. And these IDs will tell you where the object or where the bookmark is going to be placed. So you can specify an ID by saying parent ID. So you can see here I type in parent ID. And the same way we specified the title, just have a colon and then the ID of whatever you want to place this bookmark over. So if we want to look at the ID of this new folder that we've created, let's just hop into our console with the serial worker and let's run it again. Let's just run it again. Hop back into our console. And then as you can see, we added a folder and the ID of this folder is 16. And we also added a bookmark steam code YouTube, because as you can see here, we've logged to the console, added folder and then added bookmark. So what this parent ID does is it tells you where you're placing that bookmark or where you're placing that folder and allows you to alter the location of your bookmarks accordingly. So it gives you better control over what you're doing. And then you can see the IDs of the folders you're creating. So you can have that for future reference, as you can see, as we pasted right here in the console. All right. So this is just a very basic overview of how to create bookmarks and how to do very basic modification of their location and in future tutorials we'll get more in depth with bookmarks if there is a need for that but i hope you guys have enjoyed i hope you guys have learned from this and if you have please leave a like and subscribe i will see you all next time this has been steam code bye